it's finally happening. Let's go. What is going on, everybody? How? Oh, y'all doing it's happening it's happening it has finally happened we're getting e3 in september before we get started with this video playstation 5 console giveaway is going down on the channel that's right in october we're giving away a ps5 500 edition two ways to enter subscribe to this channel and follow me on Twitter it's gonna be lit I'm looking at my extra PlayStation right there I've showed it in multiple videos I'm not going over there to grab it but um, we're giving it away giving it away giving it away now let's get to the news right after you give the stream a huge thumbs up like 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 thank you bro all right Sony the long-awaited state of play we've been waiting weeks months and they finally announced it PlayStation State of Play will be happening. This is what they tweeted out on Twitter. Official PlayStation account. Save the date. PlayStation Showcase 2021 will be next Thursday, September 9th. And check out the logo. Bro, why is everything diamond, bro? <laughs> Sony a bunch of gangsters, bro. They got it all in diamonds. They got the lo the letters in diamonds, bro. Blinked out. Let's go. Platinum. PlayStation Showcase September 9th at 1 Pacific. That's 3 Eastern Standard Time. Let's check out the details. They put some expectations. And the expectations are high. Check out what they say. You've been awfully patient, and we thank you for that. And now we're looking forward to showing you uh, what we've been working on. Tune in next Thursday, September 9th, 1 p.m. Pacific Time. That's 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'm on the East Coast. For a look into the future of PlayStation 5, the showcase will weigh in at around 40 minutes and include updates from, this is why I'm getting excited, PlayStation Studios first party reveals and some of the industry's most imaginative developers for games releasing this holiday and beyond and stick around after the presentation to get more updates from some of the studio teams featured in the showcase so it seems like afterward they're gonna do like a Nintendo type treehouse afterward highlighting games one thing to note PlayStation's next generation of VR won't make an appearance this time, but there will still be plenty of great PlayStation 5 games from developers, large and small. We hope you can join, bro. This is going to be lit. This is going to be lit. Big games are going to be large developers will be showcased in this Nintendo, um, I'm saying Nintendo Direct, it's like PlayStation um, State of Play. What I think will more than likely be there, this right here, God of War, Ragnarok. We're probably going to get gameplay revealed. They're probably going to save this to the end. We may finally get Last of Us 2 a multiplayer. There's been more rumors lately, so we may get some Last of Us 2 multiplayer factions. Looking forward, looking forward to the game. And this is more of a long shot. Metal Gear Remake. There's been rumored that they're going to be re remaking Metal Gear um, from the PlayStation 1, I think. They give it the same Demon Souls remake treatment. It's going to be beautiful. Also, also, Kena Bridges Spirits is launching at the end of September. So I do um, think that we're going to get some Kena Bridges Spirit information. Kena is looking fabulous, bro. It's made by Indie um, Team. But they're doing big things with the small um, staff. So that's going to be the state of play September 9th. 
I more than likely, what am I saying more than likely? I will be live streaming the state of play. All right, so make sure you're subscribed. Uh, we're going to be reacting to the state of play now. There's one thing about that state of play. It comes out the day right before 2K drops uh, on September 10th, NBA 2K22. It's going to be the game that you you already know. I'm, we're going to be on 2K heavy. And we have a 2K news update before we end this video. The shot meter. The shot meter has been revealed. And comes via Luca Donick. Check it out. Check it out. Let me pause it right when it shows up. Right there. This is perfect. Let me blow it up so we can see it better. All right. So as you can see with the shot meter, we got to take a look at this thing. It is the gauge is filling up. That's the light um, um, yellow. And then when you get to the darker yellow, you got either slightly early or you got early or late. Slightly early, slightly late. And you have the green line in the middle. According to Mike Wang, that shot meter, the make window will expand or shrink depending on your shot um, selection, how open you are. Your players rating, uh, foot planning, all of that stuff. Um, whether or not you're being contested. So that's the shot a meter. It's huge though. It's a it, that's a huge shot meter. Um, and that's all I have to say about it. it ain't too. It's a shot meter, bro. Um, I played my shot meter off anyway, so I'm not even gonna see this thing. But. 2K, hey, tons of 2K news is dropping. Go check out my last video. Mike Wang revealed tons of information on gameplay. It's September 2nd right now. September 6th. In four days, we're going to finally see Park gameplay. Can't wait for that. All right, dude, those are the news items for this video. What do you guys think about everything we talked about? Sound off in the comment section below. I want to know. But before you go, bro, click that subscribe button. Stay up to date. All things gaming. Bruh, we're out of here, homie.